Introducing the newest phenom to the world of YouTube boxing. Mom, I think you need a new phone. He's a speaker of some sort. Um, I think he's all of that, guys. Here's the old man boxing fan. What's up, everybody? Old man boxing fan. Boy, 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 oh boy. Yeah. We had some quick action last night. <laughs> yeah, it was quick action. Easy work. Easy work, easy work. Yeah, I'm going to start off with um, uh, Amir Khan and Phil LoGreco. <laughs> hey, look here. That's what you supposed to have done. Amir Khan, that is what you supposed to have done. Because had you not done it and you went 12 rounds with that dude looking like he looked. Look, he he was out of shape. I'm <laughs> actually I don't know what he looked like in shape. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <clears throat> I haven't looked him up at all. You know, I just wanted to see what you were gonna do. But if you had a twelve, if you had a went twelve, if Amir Khan had a went twelve rounds with that guy, we all would have said, you know what? Nah. <laughs> UK fans would have said, nah. Forget it. You know what I'm saying? But he did what he's supposed to do. You suppose that got that guy out of there. And in in some way, I'm glad that you did. But in another way, I'm more like, what are you going to do next? Who are you going to fight? I wouldn't suggest Kell Brook right off the bat. Nah, that's a bit too hot and heavy for you. You've been off for a while, man. You need a couple more up under your belt. And 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 I don't have any suggestions, you know, and like I, and I've said in my other video, I want to see what you are going to do. Then, once I see what you're going to do, based upon your opponent, I'll go and do my research. I'll be like, okay, let's see here. Who is this guy fighting? And then I'll look at the rankings, and then I'll turn around and look up each fighter. I watch several fights. I, ta I, ta I take days to do this. It doesn't bother me at all because I want to know who you are and what you got. I want to see how you responded to adversity if there was any adversity what level of what level of competition that you took up so you know that's what i do that's how i do my research that's why i don't make a whole lot of videos neither because i'm doing a lot of research on these people who i haven't heard of you know and these other names that i see that are in the rankings but i haven't heard of them you know or seen them fight ah, that's when i go and i do my research and eh, i pretty much got Everybody who's, a, you know, in each division, I, I pretty much got a grasp on who's the men in those division, if you know what I mean. You know, as far as what the fight is going to do, I'm curious because I can suggest all I want to. It's not up to me. You know what I mean? But anyway, let me go ahead and get to the next fight. We you don't know, get away from um, across the water and get back over here. <laughs> Javante Davis versus Cuellar. Hey, Javante Davis, I got to give you props. You look real good, really sharp. You stopped the shoulder rolling. You stopped all the, all the little Mayweather stuff. You was doing your thing. Yeah, I, I, hey, look, we already know you're going to have to improve in certain areas. But look here, it's not this huge improvement that you need. <laughs> I'll tell you straight up, you know, old man boxing fan saying so he ain't no huge one. And, 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 and hey, yo, and I, and I duly apologize to you and Brona, especially you, Javante Tank Davis, because I said to you, you need to get away from that guy, Brona. But you know, something is not Brona. It's the trainer. Hey. Y'all trainer is, hey, look here. He got y'all discipline. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, let, let me stick to you. I ain't going to say y'all. He got you disciplined. You stuck to the game plan. You know what I'm saying? You, you, yeah, hey, look here. You took care of business. You took care of business. That's what we wanted to see. That's what I expected. You know what I'm saying? 
I expected you and I knew you could because I watched it. I've watched Quayar fight and Quayar just comes straight ahead. Yes, he throws punches in. He like, and like I said on my last video, he gets, you know, he got a, he'll, he'll get, a, he'll get in, you know what I'm saying? And he get in there and did exactly what I did. And you did what you were supposed to do. You know, I mean, real fast hands. I mean, your hands, hey, look here, lightning. I, hey, look, I, I see a lot in your future now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, I, I'm, I'm, I'm supporting the brother, y'all. He doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, besides all the Mayweather stuff on online and 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 the back and forth with Mayweather, y'all, nah, man, I ain't, I ain't into that. I just want to see what you're gonna do in the ring. And you did it. You did a damn good job, man. Yep, got to give him his props. Now the next fight, Charlo versus Centeno. Hey, look here. I said on my last video, I'm going to keep saying this, that I wasn't sure of what Charlo was going to do because he wasn't real rah-rah about it. You know what I'm saying? And I said that he could eat. I didn't. How can I say it? Let me go ahead and para, I'm, I'm paraphrasing myself, y'all. Instead of trying to go verbatim, I'm just going to paraphrase it. Um, I said that. I didn't know which Charlo we was going to get. The one that was going to showcase his skills and then pop him out later in the round or the one that was just going to boom, take his ass out of there. Well, we got the one that went boom, take his ass out of there. <laughs> hey, and and I, hey, look, and I told you guys that Centeno had a decent jab at first. You know what I'm saying? But once you get him in trouble... He starts to throw these wild punches and he he's susceptible to whatever. And bam, he was out. And he leans forward. I said that I, these guys lean. Hey, even um even even Quayar. However you say a name. Some of them said Quaylar. Somebody said Quasar, Quasar. I believe it was Quasar is how they said it. So I'm gonna stick to Quasar. Now, next time y'all change it, I don't care. I'm gonna stick with it until I hear him say his damn name. Shit. <laughs> But anyway, I told y'all he was one of them ones that leaned forward too. You know what I mean? And and he did it a lot of times. You know. But you got to give Charlo his props. You know, I said I said that um Centeno would not be able to um jab through um um Charlo's guards and that 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 piston like devastating jab that um Charlo has, man. I mean, look here. He, he's a strong dude, man. You know? He goes for blood, man. I mean, and it's not necessarily that um not necessarily that he's looking for it. He just has that kind of he just has that kind of power. You can see it. it it's devastating, man. I mean, he yo, he knocked dude stupid. <laughs> Oh shit, yo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, look here, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, let me chill out, y'all. But that's what I'm talking about, man. Hey, look here. I mean, hey, yeah, everybody talks about it. We want to see fights. We want to see action. We want to see this. We want to see knockouts. You tell me Charlo ain't giving you that. And all this shit about black fighters ain't exciting. Say that shit after this card. I dare y'all. Mr. Abel Sanchez. <laughs> Speaking of Abel Sanchez. Is it? Jamar Charlo, you're uh, mandatory now. Mm, mm, mm. What are you going to do? <laughs> the boogeyman is coming. <laughs> no, my bad. The boogeyman is here. He's at your door. Hey, uh, Gennady Golovkin. The boogeyman is at your door. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let him knock. <laughs> Ooh, boy, it's, get, it's getting ugly. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think Triple G would rather 
give up them damn belts than fight Jamal Charlo. And also, I could be wrong now. Don't get it twisted. I could be wrong. But also, I think after he fights Canelo, that's it. Because it's too much pressure on him. Either you're going to fight these dudes or you're going to chump out. I think he's going to chump out. You know, and not only that, I think Abel Sanchez is just trying to milk that cow as long as he can. I mean, hell, Abel Sanchez been around, y'all. Y'all better do y'all research. That man has been around <laughs> for a long time, man. He been in the game. You know what I'm saying? Even in his, even in his past, he did a little boxing and, and, and a little mixed martial arts. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all better, y'all better look that man up. He know what he's doing. He know how to navigate through the business. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of who the manager is and 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 who the promoter is. Look, that man right there, Abel Sanchez, knows what the fuck he's doing, y'all. So, I'm just saying. I could be wrong about all of this shit. But I'm just saying. <laughs> now, let's get to Bro of August. I said the same thing about, well, I, let, let me cut that. Let me, let me cut that. I'm going to go ahead and say what I said about Vargas because Brown is a different ball game. What I said is, is Vargas does this little, you know, they, he had like the Mexican style, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that Mexican style. And he does, he gets in and he throws his hooks and he leans forward. I said he was going to do that. And where it really showed where he leaned forward is in the later rounds where he was getting caught pretty good with them uppercuts. And and the, the ref is trying to um, um, tell him, bro, to keep him up, keep him up. Keep him. They wasn't that low, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't hitting the cup. It was hitting the belt. But it wasn't hitting that low. Maybe I missed something. You know what I'm saying? Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, you know, and... I knew he was going to be in his face, but he got a lot of good shots in there, man. I ain't going to lie. And I said that. I said that also. I said he has this good one-two combo. Is this left-right combo. And he did exactly that. It was my last video, y'all. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? And he did exactly that. And I expected that. And he he won. I, I say he won the first half of the fight. He did. Because we're going to get on A.B. now. A.B., the first half of the fight, was A.B. As far as punching, his punch output, as far as that, that's where he was A.B. As far as his defense, got to give you props, brother. You stop the damn shoulder rolling in Philly shell shit. You and Javante Davis. Got to give your trainer some props. Forgive me, man. I forgot your name. You know what I'm saying? I know you I know you a tough dude. You know, I, I've, I've been hearing about you, you know, listening to everybody talk about you. You know, ex-police officer. Hey, look, and you got Broner to fucking let his damn hands go finally. Fine. If he yo, if Brona had to did that shit from the first, and he, he it ain't like he was tired, but if he had to did that from the first on through, yo, he would have took Vargas out of there. If he had to do what everybody else did, everybody else started early and said, you know what, let me go ahead and take your ass out. Brona should have followed suit. You should have followed, man, because you 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 mean you had him beat up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he was beat up bad. And you was just hitting him every, every now and then. And he was beat up bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about like, you know, once that once that sixth round came is when you start to pick it up. But he was beat up before that. So just imagine if you had to apply what you applied later on. And, and it ain't like your ass was tired. You weren't breathing hard. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not taking no shots at him. I got to give him props, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, you know, I I'm 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 I might tease him about his voice again, but <laughs> you got jokes. <laughs> Let me stop trying to make that man voice. Anyway, um, look here. 
you know, it, I, I like what I saw later on. You know what I'm saying? And he did not do the shoulder roll, but at first, it, like I said about Brona also, when you start throwing punches at him, he gets defensive. Dude, you got a chin? You took some good damn shots. I seen your head bobbing back a lot in the first round. I mean, in the, in the first half of the fight. He was catching you with some jabs in there, man. And your head, boop, boop. But, yo, you was eating them, man. Yo, <laughs> Yo, Brona was eating them shots, man. And, and, and yo, it's not like um, Vargas is a a hard, hard, a hard, hard, hard hitter. But yo, he was popping them, man. Y'all, y'all got it. Y'all, y'all can't, y'all cannot deny that he was popping them, man. But Brona was eating them shots, man. Brona, maybe, hey, maybe that craziness in his head is a good thing. <laughs> You can't make him no crazier than he already is, so that ain't shit you do it to him. <laughs> oh, what? I'm already crazy. <laughs> Pow. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Let me give you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You punch him, boy. You go, hey, yo. And I did see a couple times where he got pissed off when Mikey. Oh, man, damn, I'm about to say Mikey and Garcia. Damn, why do I keep saying that shit, man? Where Jesse Vargas had um that's, that's in my last video I had that problem I believe that's what I was trying to say but anyway where Jesse Vargas had caught him when he had um Jesse Vargas on the ropes later on in the round late later on in the rounds you know what I'm saying and and, and yo bro they got pissed off and started throwing them shots man slowed his ass down I was like okay yo word I was digging that. You know what I'm saying, but I ain't no buts. Yo, know I man, you 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 did your thing for the second half. It was it was a good fight. I honestly believe in my eyes because I heard you, I heard you, I heard your trainer tell you several times you need to let your fucking hands go. Stop waiting. You need and you know what? If you had done that the first half, and I know your trainer will agree with this. If he actually happens to hear this, look, he would have been out of there. You would you would have got him out of there at least in five six rounds. You could have got him out of there at least in five six rounds, easily, easily. But for the first half, you was being Brona, the old Brona. Let me put it like that: you was being the old Brona, not the Brona we saw for the second half. Now, hopefully, this is that transition point. Hopefully, you could you you take that momentum because this is this. A hey, anything is a momentum game. Any professional sport is a momentum game. You got momentum. Take that momentum from that fight to your next fight from the first round on down, or the first round on up, however you want to put it. Take it, man. Old man boxer fan, signing out. Peace.